Boom. All right. That takes care of that. That takes care of this. Let me look for the chats. Oops. That takes care of that. That takes care of that. My fault. That was your phone? Yeah. That is my phone. Let me pop the chat out and see what's going on. Pop chat out. Hey, Eagle 43, welcome to the house. Abe, welcome to the house. And welcome to another edition of uh, Josh Chris Arts Does Copics. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good voice. The, the spawn was all, was really awesome. See, I never saw the, the, that HBO series. I wasn't allowed to see HBO. And, you know, as you get older, you just you forget things exist until someone says something. And you're like, oh, yeah. Never saw that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they still got it on HBO on the man. Man, I ain't got no HBO. The only time I have HBO is when the next season of Game of Thrones comes out. That's the only time. Wow. Well, when next time the season next season of Game of Thrones comes out, they only do it a week at a time. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> no, I didn't see it last time. I did like see the the image. I was like, oh, I need to watch that, and then I never did. I'm just saying. Man, no one watch nothing on YouTube. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry for being late. Yeah, you know it's Wednesday, but tomorrow I gotta I gotta travel. So it's a good thing you did it on your channel. So in case I have to dip out. We are, we are finishing Gilmore Girls. <laughs> finishing Gilmore Girls. My wife does it to me. Where I won't want to watch a show, and then she'll watch an episode, another episode. You know, it's all on the same TV, and she right. She and then you start liking it, and then you get mad whenever she watches an episode or two without you. And you don't know what. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the point where like you can't watch this anymore without me watching at the same time. She did right. Crazy. She's crazy mad at me. She got me. She got me liking it, and then she watched a ton of it without me. And then she turned back on. I was like, I have, I, I don't even know what happened. I don't know what happened. Where this person go? And she said, Oh, well, he died. Oh, well, I totally missed that. So I got to the point I didn't like Grey's Anatomy. Um, so then she started watching Gilmore Girls. <laughs> Man, <crazy. laughs> and then she started watching Gilmore Girls. And I'm like. Oh, this is a kind of sweet little show. I like it. And then she watched some without me. I was like, no, no, you're going you're gonna to have to watch it with me. I, I can't do this again. <laughs> right, right, right. That's on, you know, how we spend our time together. You know, we'll, we'll choose a show that you know, we, we both enjoy or stuff. And we just, we just go with that, you know. I'm not mad at that at all. Not mad at all. She likes Flash, so when we get back into those, she doesn't care for the Netflix stuff. Right. 
that's man training beware. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try to let Josh talk. Hey, Riza Lee, how you doing? I'm going to try to let Josh talk because I'll be gone the rest of the week. So Josh needs to practice talking and drawing. I don't mind talking to people. You know, <laughs> as long as the conversation is uh, positive and uh, constructive, it's fine. Something I can get into? You know what I mean? If I can say it that way? Yeah, so I downloaded Warframe for the Switch. I'm sorry. And it looks amazing. I'm sorry. Why is that? No, it's. I, I can't ever play that game again. No, it looks good on the Switch, man. It looks really good. Good, but you know, one, you need that constant internet connection. That is the bad part. So I can't play it on a trip, but it's okay. <laughs> I got uh, I got like five games on the Switch, so I'm good to go. You gonna get Diablo? I was thinking about it. They got Diablo three, the the um Ultimate Edition or whatever. Let's, I have I have it on the Xbox and I just really couldn't get into it. But I think here, here's yeah here's the here's the thing. Play Warframe when it first came in 2013 got boring quick. Yeah, Eagle 43. I agree. Uh, they 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 made some improvements on it and they added some uh, things and it's kind of enjoyable. Here's the thing with with th- games like Diablo. I think they're better on mo- on mobile gaming devices. I think it'll be better on the Switch than for me it would be on the Xbox. It's kind of one of those games you could just pull out and play and just keep going. But like to sit at the Xbox and just kind of play that uh that style of game, you know, that doesn't re- that doesn't require the the graphical umph of an Xbox is just it's kind of a waste of an Xbox. As in, somebody randomly hopped into my game, said, hey, I like how you play. Dropped some stuff, and then logged off. (laughs) And I picked it up, and it was like the holy grail of swords and rings, and it was all modded stuff. Right. And it was a blast for two years, logging on to random games, being like, I'll save you. And then just going in there and just one hitting every boss on any difficulty. I don't know. I just can't. I think it's a waste of processing power for the Xbox. It could be. It could look way better than it looks. It just. I, don't know. I think it looks great. It, I think it looks junk. It looks like that that Master Chief Halo one that came out. That's like I don't know which one that was, but it just. Hold on, though. Diablo three came out on Xbox three sixty, so it was just an Xbox one port. Yeah. It. I think they didn't really up the graphics for that. So on a Switch, it looks just like how it should. Right, which makes it better. I'm giving you that it looks it looks dated. It does, and I think it's. I mean, you got an Xbox One X, right? You got 4K yeah. capabilities, and then you got Diablo, and you're like, really? I have a, I have a 4K capable console, and this is what I'm playing on it. Yeah, I'd rather play it on a Switch, but the Switch is good because what the Switch has got is um. Uh, what the Switch does, it does well. You know, it dumbs down the graphics. And um, and the screen is nice, you know. And, and some games give you... Uh, the 30 FPS, this stuff bother me. Uh, Chester is more famous. You're right. <laughs> Aloha, Manny. Um, if you want to jump in, just let us know. Uh, we'll send you a link. If not, you know, you're more than welcome to stay in the chat and chat. Um, yeah, but I think, I think what the Switch does, it does well. And I think the, I mean, it's got, it's got so many ports already, you know? It does, but you know, coming from, from, from my point of view, the Switch only, ha- only offers certain, certain games I'm even interested in. You know, it's, you, you know, Mario games, your Pokemon games. I can't wait for a Star Fox game. I really wanted that Star Link. So you didn't want, you didn't, you didn't, uh. Go for that Bayonetta one and two, bundle yeah, pack. God, no, it was, no, that was never one of those games. <laughs> Good, Manny says you'll just stay in the chat <laughs> right. and look at the dreamy eyes. He's the one that colored them, so I mean, you know, <laughs> he 
he colored them for me because I, you know, I had that color deficiency thing. Yeah. And Chester Busby's doing that whole, I'm reading the comic book uh, out loud thing today. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so he's not going to be coming in. Chester is also more more biased. Wonder if, if there's a correlation. <laughs> you talking about between me and Chester, Eagle 43? I think it's just an old age thing, to be honest with you. We just set in our ways. I don't know, Josh. I mean, eh, you know. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. Uh, okay, I don't want to beg for the link. <laughs> you don't have to beg, brother. Shoot, you are always welcome. Yep. You're always welcome on Josh's channel because that's where we're streaming at. I'm not streaming on my channel, or that would be a different situation. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Boom. Duke Good Dog Press, you have been linked, sir. Now get your tail in here and face the wrath of the Copics. Uh oh. Yeah, no, um, I bought a Switch because uh, I had surgery and then I couldn't be anywhere but downstairs and the Xbox was not downstairs, so. That was that. Rey Esquercega dice, wow. No lo puedo creer. Do what now? Surgery I'm thinking of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever I had mine, I stayed on the couch. That's, that's what I'm saying. I stayed on the couch. Well, my Xbox is on the couch. No, not mine. Not mine. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Risey Lee, howdy, brother. Ray, hail, raven. And they're they're beginning their hails for the raven. And it starts. It starts, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're about it. We're going to get good. And speaking of good dog press, welcome, sir. Oh, Muttman is in the house. Muttman, you want to join in, brother? Yeah, I'm gonna send him a link. I like Mutt Man. We had an interview with him. He also came on Josh's channel once. We had a great time. So let me see if I can find him. Let me invite the brother. Oh, you doing big things? You got iPad. You got uh. Man, that's what I do. I I read the chats. <laughs> Uh oh, all right. Yeah, Mutt Man is uh, in case in case y'all don't know, I think most of you do. Mutt Man is the creator and uh, the co-creator of Hero, and I'll let him explain when he jumps in, so he can ha he can he can do his little sales pitch. We have we have no uh, no qualms with that whatsoever. Mutt Man, you've been linked. Join at your leisure. It's just that I gotta, I got all these people on the twits, on the Twitter. The uh, yeah, on the twits. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me, Josh. Hey, no problem, buddy. Thanks for coming. Of course. You want your channel, you want your, your panel up here to be big, so everybody thinks you're a big shot. Is, yeah, is right. that what we're doing? <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you need to do, man. Is that, is that the psychological strategy? I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't have any any of y'all before, and and I managed okay. I mean, y'all helped my boost. Y'all helped me break that hump from the fifties to the to the hundreds. But uh, you know, I, I mean, I like I like the panel if it's good conversation, you know, and uh, and we're chilling, and so so that's good, you know. You see, my my panels are really chill. I mean. We go off the rails sometimes, but not too much. Yeah, Reyes Garcega retracted his message. This is my favorite name to say, even though he he sometimes he, he gets a little moody on me, but it's all right. 
I understand he's related to Mr. Dillard, and uh, it's part of the it's part of the game. It's part of the game. What's up, y'all? Whoa, Mutt Man, what is going on, brother? <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? It's doing good. Mutt Man, have you ever met Manny? Uh, no, I haven't. Nice to meet you, Manny. Yeah, nice to meet you, Mutt Man. That is a, that's one sexy uh, skunk you got going there. What's up with that? Okay. Well, I'm fixing it up. I, I sent this <laughs> off to someone that uh, told me I had to fix certain things, so I've been fixing. That's all I've been doing this afternoon is fixing up my, my skunk doors. Reyes Garcega, I love you too. So... Buttman is the creator or co-creator of Hero, and Manny is the creator of Skunk Girl. Or the um, is it the Unbreathable Skunk Girl or just Skunk Girl? Well, I am trademarking the name the Unbreathable Skunk Girl because Unbreathable is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if anybody uses the word, I'm going to assume. <laughs> yeah, so Manny, so I don't know if you heard of the, about the Hero, uh, the book Hero. Yeah. Is on Indiegogo. What he, he this is the man behind it right here. I interviewed him on my channel not too long ago. We had a good time. Then we came on Josh's channel and we had a more we we continued the interview on a draw and interview. So Mutt Man, if you want to pitch your book real quick, talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you mind if I share a screen and Josh is in control, so okay. uh, Nick is good, sir. Uh, let me give you uh, control and things. I can't let these uh, these puppets dry out. Yep. Yep. So give us a second. Let's get. Some, yep. Here we go. And I'm gonna give Mutt Man control and present to everyone, sir. You are on Front Street. Oh, you guys are really good at this. I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out <laughs> on my channel. I'm not. Uh, I, I'm definitely what you would consider a boomer still. Oh, me too, brother. Me too, man. <laughs> we all boomers here. We all Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think I can figure it out. Here we go. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Yeah, and I just recently updated my page uh, based on some feedback that I got from the fan, uh, what are they called? Fan speak. Have you heard about those? Guys? Yeah, Chester Busby and his team. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm new to them. I didn't know about them until recently. So I've been kind of feasting on a lot of feedback that I've been listening to on, on that show. Right. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it all sounds really good. Those guys are, are the fans, and they're speaking for the fans, and so I'm listening. You know what I'm saying? Right. So Just, this is, uh, go ahead. Oh, this is Hero Blood of Patriots. This is my Indiegogo that i got going on right now with Macho Dan. That's, that's his little icon right there. If you guys don't know Macho Dan, he's at Macho Dano uh, on Twitter. Uh, he's a really cool guy and one of my buddies. And... Um, yeah, he, he kind of, he came to me with this weird dream that he had um, where a robot, a flying robot was holding um, dead bodies and pretending to be human. And I really thought that was funky and weird and creepy. And so we just started talking about how funny of a comic book that would be. And, uh, and it, it kind of morphed into this thing which we've created. So... Um, so this is Hero, and I'll just kind of put a couple of my pictures here. This is Hero. This is kind of an early rendition, but you can see he's a zombie, right? And he's got this robot backpack. And what happens is the robot and the corpse uh, merge to create Hero, which is a super soldier. And in death, um, the brain can be fully can can be brought to full functionality. So. A fully functioning human brain is uh, sort of like Captain America, where uh, he is uh, uh, super powerful, super strong, has super agility, and uh, also there's an AI that's attached inside here, and the, the robotics and the AI help him um, have top-of-the-line uh, combat skills uh, and, and battle strategies. So Hero is, is a, is a butt-kicking machine, basically. And in this, uh, in this story, we are in the midst of World War III. Uh, Russia uh, has become the red threat, and they are pushing uh, uh, communism across the world and uh, taking over the world, and America stands between uh, freedom and total annihilation. So they basically are losing the battle, 
and Russia is winning, and because of that, um, the bodies are piling up. So all of our American boys are on ice, and they are working uh, feverishly to come up with a plan to reanimate uh, our soldiers, and so that's how Hero is born. Um, so if you look down through here, you can see that we've got a, a zero issue. You can download that for free right now. Just click on that bad boy, and it'll take you right over here to, to zero issue. And you can read the first 16 pages of the story and know exactly what's going on, and that's absolutely free to you just because we believe it's a great story and you're going to love it. So go over there and do that um, if you haven't done that already. Uh, and then you can see some of our cover art right here. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Dr. Krupen. He is the one who has developed the formula which brings these dead bodies back to life. He's kind of like our Dr. Frankenstein. He's kind of like Dr. Frankenstein if Dr. Frankenstein was in the 80s. And then we've got, uh, this is the robot right here, the hero unit. And then this is the corpse that comes back to life. Here's a couple images of, of how that happens. The corpse gets on this guy's, uh, or the, uh, the robot gets on this corpse reanimates him, turns him into hero super soldier, and he starts going to town, uh, picking some commie behind all over the place. <laughs> and yeah, this is our bad guy right here. His name's Bolt. He's this crazy uh, Russian uh, arms dealer. He's a friend of nobody. He's kind of like our Loki. Um, he's wild and crazy, loves anarchy, and hopes to come to his own power by dismantling governments. Um, and he's all about death and destruction. And he's wild. Uh, this is Anessa Tarvita. She's our assassin in the story. Um, her, uh, she's a Russian spy assassin, and she is sent after um, Dr. Krupen in the story. And yeah, you can go read all that good stuff about our campaign, but then you can see we got some cool perks here too. We got uh, our featured perk is the 48 page signed comic book. And we've got, uh, this is something that Dan uh, thought up, and I, th I think it's real funny. It's a uh, virtual high five. So look, if you can't afford the $8 or you don't want to pay in the $8 to um, get you a, a digital copy, you can just give us 5 bucks just to say I like what you're doing and support you guys uh, with a small donation, and you will get a virtual high five from Dan. And each virtual high five is unique. And if you haven't watched Dan, um, and seen a little bit about how crazy he is, Macho Dano will have a strange and unique um, high five to send to you either by, by Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or whatever your favorite uh, social media might be. Uh, the digital issue is eight bucks, and I've been saying to everybody, if you can whoops, get back, sorry about that. Oops, there we go. Get back to where I was. While you're doing that, uh, Bethany has joined the uh, chat. Good evening, Bethany, and welcome. Hey, Beth. Hey, Bethany. See, we appreciate our our, our folks that come view. So you know, we're gonna try we're gonna try to give you a shout out by name until y'all grow so far that we can't. <laughs> That's the way to do it, man. And welcome, Bethany. Uh, and then you've got your eight dollar uh, digital issue here. That's I'll, I've been telling everybody, if, you, if you're going to go get yourself an $8 uh, Chick-fil-A combo, uh, then you would definitely like this 48-page full-color uh, book full of entertaining story uh, for a meager $8. Uh, we've got our two-pack, which is 35 so you save a little money by getting a two-pack. We've got a get one, send two going on right here, so you can send two copies to the troops. Uh, we're working with a group called... Oh, shoot, the name escapes me. Dan's been talking to them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you buy, you get one copy, and you send two to our uh, brothers and sisters in arms uh, so they can have a little entertainment while they're sacrificing for us. Uh, the $75 perk is you can have your name put on one of Volk's blades, and there will be a scene in the story where Volk will be displaying his blade collection each blade has killed a victim, and the victim's name is on the blade. So if you get into this one, then you could be one of those victims whose name is on the blade. Uh, this is my favorite. This is the Get Knocked Out by Hero perk. And in this 
in this uh, perch. I will take your likeness and I will have your face being creamed by our hero, hero. And you will have a tooth knocked out, just like this poor guy right here. Um, and uh, you will go hand-to-hand -hand combat with Hero, but you will uh, be punched directly out. Uh, and I will have fun drawing that. And then we've got the Brutal Death perk. That is where Hero will destroy you. You will be killed by Hero. Now, you will go hand-to-hand -hand with him for a few panels. And this will be a, you'll be a stronger combatant against him. But ultimately, he will deal you a Brutal Death. And the last perk we have is the $800 Be a Villain perk. And in this perk, uh, you actually will be a boss, a villain boss, not the villain, but a villain. And we will have you in our story for five pages. You will have a, you will have a uh, introduction, and you will have five pages of story, but ultimately, you will be destroyed by Hero. So that is, that's pretty much the campaign, guys, and I appreciate you letting me run through that, and uh, I won't take up any more time with this, but if you don't mind, I would like to draw while you guys are drawing. Man, knock yourself out, brother. I'm not drawing because I'm monitoring the chat and whatnot tonight, but yeah, knock yourself out, bro. Just hang out, you know, and, and uh, it's all good, you know. Speaking of which, let's white box Josh again. Boom. And Josh is putting some wicked... Copics on the spawn piece and what I'm looking at that spawn and everybody's drawing intently Bethany says cool project. Those are some fun perks And I dropped the link for hero on the chat in the chat So I have done I have done my job as a gracious co-host for mr. Josh <laughs> Thank you very much. And Manny what are you what are you working on still? I'm still working on this uh... I was told to fix some of the things on it. Her, her face was too far out from the neck, and I'm kind of giving her more mysterious look by covering one of her eyes with her her trademark uh, S curls. So, right. You know, kind of make it a little bit better. You know, just tweaking a little bit here and there. That's all you got to do. I, I tweaked on the other one, the other one that I did too earlier. I blew, bring that one up. There, there was some. Some stuff that wasn't working, so I, I was graciously told by by a pretty good guy just just to fix some stuff up. So I fixed this one up. And that's looking good. I got you white box, so everybody can see what we're talking about. So I'll I'll show you the original. Uh, this is the original. Bringing up the original now. So that's the original. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and you're just gonna see just little tweaks to it, and just the little tweaks made it really much better and this is the new one you know it really accentuates her curvature right uh, put, put the arm up where it should be right the hips are better yep you can see the hips. yeah uh, i like this one way better yeah yeah i made the hair a little bit shorter you know i mean this is the original which was okay right this one really looks way better yeah i, I like the second one that on the original she looks a little frumpy like a little bit out of shape and on this one she looks a little bit more sleek right i mean just I mean, you guys saw just those little tweaks there. You know, somebody oh, yeah. pointed them out to me, and I, I fixed it. So hopefully I'll, I'll send it to him, and hopefully he'll say, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Nice. Really good, good guy was helping me out. That's good, man. When, when this community can come together and help each other out, man, that is so amazing. Yeah, it is. Bethany has a question for Josh Chris Arts. Bethany has been asking about, well, she's been asking on a lot of chats about colors for Superman. So, Josh. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations for Copics to do a Superman? All right, so I have a go-to reds that Let me, are my favorite. And if you want to come over to me real quick. To yep, me. I'm going to start presenting to you and everyone. Okay, so Bethany, what he's holding up is an R14, R24, R46 reds for Copics. All right, so your R14, whenever you're first learning with Copics, the easiest way to do Copics is... You, you put down a base color, and as long as you keep that wet, then you can put everything else on top of it and, sm and, and bloom it around and stuff. Where I'm doing it, where I'm doing more of a shock, where I'm putting my black and then building away from my black, it, it's a different way of doing it, but the basic way of doing it is layer by layer by layer. Um, and that way, as long as you keep it, keep it wet and keep it fast, then you'll be able to blend some pretty cool colors together. Uh, these are my go-to reds. This is what I use for my Spider-Mans, my Deadpools, 
these are my, my basics. I have other colors I'll throw in, like some oranges and stuff like that, some darker reds here and there, but these are my go-tos for everything with that. Now, for your blues, my first go-to blue is B24. Um, I use this for most basic Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, anyone that has a, a nice rich blue color uh, this is my, my go to for that um, if you want to do shining with it you know that, that, that takes a little build up but there's B2 as well that's a real good, a good uh, glimmer to it if you want to build it on it, it's kind of a, a risky if you don't know how to blend but that, that's more about the highlight blue and then um, for shadow where did you go all my Copics are laying across my table. I'm, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> Not it. It's a B97, I think it is. I can't find it. I'm starting to wonder if I always forget if it's that one or not. But it's not. There it is. B97. This is a nice, nice dark blue. Uh, you put that on for shadows, um, that, that, and just makes that uh, B24 pop, and it's a it's a nice blend. Um, ooh, I can see it right there. Shit. So like with Vegeta here with the costume. Um, this was the sky blue I used here, and then I used uh, for the, uh, the 95, uh, 97 by 97 and, and built uh, into the shadows with that one. And then as you see with the reds right there, you know, it's, oh, and then the skeleton right up here that we did live on YouTube. Um, that, was a nine, that was a 24 uh, with a 97 as well, and then for this part I used... Uh, I either use the double zero or use the zero two. Yeah, I'll show you. Man, I love that skeleton. That is so cool. <laughs> Thanks. Favorite character. Yeah, and uh, Rice Lee says that he agrees with us. The short hair looks nicer. Uh, Manny. Thank you. So we're doing something different today, unbeknownst to Josh. Um, we are dual streaming. You are also on Twitch and on YouTube. Wow. So I'm we're trying we're trying something new to see if we can get more more followers, more views. It's not working so well on Switch on Twitch. There's only two viewers right now. But I appreciate them. They're not so thank you for joining us on the Twitch side. And those uh people that are watching on YouTube side, I'm gonna need you to hit that like button, people. Mm. Please. We got 13 people watching on YouTube and six likes. So, you know that. See, I'm going to have to change my, my Twitch name. Just, if we're going to start doing <laughs> Twitch, I, I'm going to I'm gonna have to rechange my channel. Well, the only reason why I'm doing it is because since you're, you're streaming on your channel, I figured I'd just try on Twitch on my side and see how it, see what it looks like. Right. So, uh, so I'm, I'm running OBS and uh, I'm screen capturing the Google Hangouts on OBS and allowing it to then um, OBS stream over to Twitch with the Twitch stream key. So I need like a tutorial after that. You know, yeah. uh, we're just working it out. We're trying. We're just trying to get more eyes. So the thing, the good thing, what is the page on Twitch? Uh, should be Jay Recon Fifty One. Uh, let me send you the link. Hold on. Because I didn't even think about that. Uh, right now, because like Josh, I don't really have. Yeah, it's Twitch, Twitch TV. Control copy, control paste. But then I got to take the dashboard live out. <laughs> and I think it should be that one right there. That should get you there. I'll do my best to help you. 
Oh, basically, they're definitely hitting the like button is way easier than leg day. I definitely, definitely wholeheartedly agree on that. <laughs> there we go. They're getting into the spirit. We got 15 people watching now. We have 10 likes. Folks, those likes really help a lot because uh, my like is that when I hit like on mine, it automatically pushes it out to all my social media. So, you know, it pushes it out to you. Uh, uh, Holy smokes, something happened on Twitch. Hold on. <laughs> What's happening on Twitch? Great. I'm blowing up and it's not even my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Abe, Abe, Abe is kind enough to join us on Twitch as well. So, oh, so yeah. yeah the, my, my Twitch name is Skeletor, the master of evil. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about streaming artwork. I just was like, eh, okay. I'll, yeah. I'll beat me soon. Yeah. There's a guy I follow uh, that plays Monster Hunter, and he's he's in Japan, and uh, so whenever I'm at work, I'll um I'll I'll, follow, I'll, I'll hit, you know, hit that uh where you where you host his channel on Twitch, and he just screams my name. He's like best damn name on Twitch still. How long have you been following me? Like two years now. Hey. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to get rid of it. <laughs> well, you don't have to. Uh, you can create another Twitch channel. And then just make that your art channel. I can barely do that with my Facebook, with my own personal Facebook, and then the work Facebook. Yeah, I, I can't stand the work Facebook thing. And everybody still finds out your personal Facebook and then adds you there. <laughs> it's dumb. Uh, Rice Lee says, now, I don't work out, but my brother always talking about leg day. That's because it's the most brutal day of the week. Because leg day incorporates core it also incorporates shoulder incorporates back and then after you beat up your whole body working out that whole week and then you do leg day last you're not feeling it you are not feeling it i don't know what i'm talking about because i don't i skip leg day i have one day out of the with three days i work out four days of the week and three days i don't so that means there's a lot that doesn't go on but you know it's okay it's okay it's all about personal preferences i need to get back to working out you need to keep working out them doggone Copics. That's what you need to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> keep them Copics moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, keep those right. Copics moving. There is Big Body. Like this sounds like a good day to go to the strip joint. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I'm going to. White box, Mr. Muttman, and see what he's working on. Working on my lettering right now on a big page. Yeah. Rice Lee agrees with Bitbiter. Those are things that'll be more fun. You using Clip Studio? You using Photoshop? Okay. Yeah, I'm old school, man. Using Photoshop. Uh, I mean, Josh uses Photoshop. Just what I know. That's what I've always used. And my Wacom, my trusty Wacom. Yeah. Uh, you got a tablet or a digital tablet? Uh, I, I got a, I got a, uh, it's a screen tablet. I uh -huh. think it's, uh, it's a Wacom Cintiq, a Wacom Cintiq Pro 13, I think. Oh, a bit biter. This is Muttman. You remember Muttman? Were you there when we did the interview? What's up, bit biter? Bitbiter is my mod on my channel, and you know he's he's a dual modder. He mods this channel, he mods my channel. He's a good friend of mine and um, Josh's, so he helps out a lot. Oh, that's cool. You need good friends like that to help moderate, because man, when you're when you're like live, it's really difficult. Yeah, that's why I, when when we're on Josh's channel, I try to not, I try to I, I sacrifice my my learning time and try to get this going for him. But uh, I still got to sketch some. So, yay. What happened with those guys, Jimmy, that, that ate all that pizza? Did they die or did they live through that? <laughs> they, they lived. Okay, so one of the guys that ate all that pizza, right? Um, I'm going to go back to Josh real quick because he's doing that, that Copic. No disrespect to anybody. Um, okay, so the, the, um, the short guy, not the guy that was dressed in the lumberjack, uh, he's my workout partner. So he lived, but, yeah. but, but then, you know, he's a bodybuilder. So then 
Today he took it out on me and the gym that he failed the challenge. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hurting just a I little mean, bit. I was laughing my head off watching those no. guys. No, nah, you, you should have watched it on my Facebook Live. I recorded the whole thing on Facebook Live. I just got to figure out how to download that video and put it on YouTube so y'all can see the rest. I just did like uh, the beginning on, on YouTube and then the end on YouTube, but the whole middle part was on Facebook Live, and it was it was ridiculously funny. Oh, they were so miserable. Oh, man, it was bad because they chose the three toppings that they chose <laughs> were... Um, Canadian baked ham, pepperoni, and mushrooms. And I looked at that and I was like, yo, that sounds like a lot of sodium. Y'all are not going to make it, man. And um, Greg, the guy that was dressed like a lumberjack, you know, he's kind of pale. So you can see he turned red because his blood pressure was actually rising from all the sodium he was ingesting. He was feeling horrible. He was feeling horrible, um, and they all—they both felt bad. <laughs> but, but, um, but my friend Q, he—he he took it so hard. He used to go by the name. Uh, he his moniker was Q Mungus because he's a bodybuilder, and his nickname is Q. So they call him Q Mungus. Uh, I play on Humongous. He took that defeat so bad. He changed his name back to his normal uh, government name. <laughs> he's, he's like, I am no longer Q Mungus. I am not just regular, you know, and then he, I'm not going to dox him. So, <laughs> uh, and, and, and the other guy was like, man, I went home and threw up. I, I got all that out of my system. I feel a hundred times better. I figured that it was going to be entertaining to record that. It, uh, it was just an opportunity. He was like, man, I'm going to go do it. I said, you going to do it for real? I'm going to be there. All right. All right. <laughs> so... <laughs> And you know I'm a, I, I talk a lot of trash. So I was talking trash all throughout the Facebook live video. It was ridiculous. It was it was it was mad fun. I had a good time. So we have Tank Ferret in the house. KG's in the house. Joshua Hughes is in the house. And uh, yeah, Eagle Forty Three was already in the house. Hey, what's up, Tank? You know I'm over here. Tank says, "So is this where the cool kids are these days?" Yes, sir. Right. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's that's a matter of perspective. I I kind of like the guys on here. So I mean, to me, they're cool. I don't know if they're cool to anybody else, but hey, I dig them. So hey, it's all a matter of perspective. All a matter of perspective. Uh, well, I noticed that in that video, you didn't have to eat any pizza. And you didn't have to. Um, you just got to stand there, record it, and laugh. Is that that was the only thing you had to do? Yeah, yeah, no, well, see, the thing is, the challenge is for one or two people only. Uh, okay. So it's only one person or two people max that can eat that pizza. Would you have taken on that challenge? Heck no, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Did you see the size of that thing? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Do you, how yeah. many toppings do you have to have? Like three. Animal? You have to have three. Three toppings. But it's not. It's a Brooklyn style pizza, so it's thin crust. But it's it, they make it with olive oil, so it's greasy. Mm. On, you know, it's it's that greasy pizza that you like. Yes. Um, yeah, I would take the challenge. You know, but it's it's a twelve pound pizza. That's all right. <laughs> twelve pound pizza. That's yeah. Right. Does cheese count? Cheese cheese is automatically included, Abe. And then you have other another three toppings. Fitbiter says he could do it. Uh, KG is having highlight to the whole chat. Tank Ferret is saying not just cool, but cool enough. You know what? We'll take it. <laughs> Joshua Hughes is still feeling a little bit of that um, pressure from behind, saying that Ortiz isn't that cool because he still hates DC without no reason. No, we ain't starting that argument again. <laughs> and yeah, I was about to get into that, Josh. Mr. Hughes, stop living in the past. Stop living in the past. Where this this is today. Today is the present and a bold new day, and we can make something new happen. To end it, all right? <laughs> you have something that's going to sway Jimmy's persuasion, his ideas, his mythology on why he believes this way. Then why don't you send him something that's going to make him want 
to change his attitude, his perspective on this. Ooh, argument. Josh with the challenge. Other than that, Jimmy's not going to change. It's no. like me with certain artists. It's like me with certain movies. I ain't going to do it. It's like Josh with Robert Liefeld. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a discussion I like to have about Rob Hopper. No, no, we ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like a lightning rod. That guy is a lightning rod of controversy. It depends. Uh, you, you either people. He's the kind of guy that you either love or you hate, and there's no there's no middle ground. Yeah. You know, there's no middle ground. Yeah. Bitbiter says in Prezelli's here has a twenty five pound pizza. I'm not going near that. Nowhere near it. A Sapien says, I'm not saying no, but I might could have done it. Uh, you know, <laughs> just find your local pizza joint that has it. And give it a shot. That was a fifty-six dollar pizza. So here's the thing. So uh, Tank is laughing. Tank Ferret is laughing. So here's the thing, right? So six hundred and thirty people have failed, and only six people have succeeded. So here's the deal, right? <clears throat> you pay your fifty-six bucks. You order your pizza, right? You got to tell them ahead of time what day you're gonna come because they gotta prepare it. So. So you, 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 you pay your 56 ducats, right? If you complete the challenge, you get your $56 refunded, plus you get a $100 back, a $100 bonus or a $100 uh, prize. And of course, you get your name on the board as one of the few people that, uh, that did it, you know? So you'll be like the seventh group that did it. But, um, so that's been accomplished. It's been accomplished six times. Wow. Only six times out of 630 attempts <laughs> i think if if i'm not mistaken i believe it's a 30 inch pizza Need to be bigger. <laughs> all i'm saying is that whoever can do it you need to film it because it's going to be hard to believe if you just come out of the woodwork saying you did oh no no if you if you're in the if you're in the North Carolina region and you're gonna do it anywhere in North Carolina, let me know. I will make the drive. <laughs> okay, I will make the drive and try to make you famous. That's for doggone sure. <laughs> you have a time limit? Yes, one hour. One hour. And it goes by quick. It goes by quick. So there you have it. I would do it. You would do it. Josh is messing with Copix. Let's see what uh, Manny's doing. Me? Yeah. I'm just cruising. I'm listening to your beautiful voice. The beautiful, the beautiful sounds of Jimmy. I'm, I'm like I said. I'm just tweaking a little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, it doesn't look like I'm doing much, but it's getting there. Now I can see some of the differences. I'm, I'm kind of digging what you're doing. Okay, so this is a new. Right. And this, oh, this is old. <clears throat> so, do that. Just a little bit, just a little tweaks. Yeah. No, but they're they're making a they're making a world of difference. Yeah. Abe, yeah, I think you get the sodas for free. <laughs> Man, you ought to. Good grief. I mean. It's a fifty-six dollar pizza. That thing. <laughs> oh, if. Oh, why is it not showing each other each person's boxes? I don't know. Ask Josh. What? Well, he's talking about people talking. I mean, I was keeping it on Josh because it's his channel, and you know, I'm also dual streaming on Twitch, so I didn't want a bouncing back and forth. I just wanted to take my time and put it on people and whatnot. It look pretty good. Uh, it's Mexi. <laughs> yeah, the Twitch stream. Uh, let me look at the. I mean, I'm looking at it on. Um, stream labs but let me look at the twitch page um it was looking pretty good on the twitch page actually i don't see any um i'm looking at the preview on on the page and it's looking pretty good i i don't know what it sounds like i don't know what the sound is looking like or if if anybody if they can hear everything but yeah uh joshua hughes says i could send him hundreds of examples for why Man, that English though, for why he should change his mind about DC. But I, I'm I gonna, <laughs> I'm too busy right now. 
the talking head boxes are missing. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have to look at the YouTube and see what's going on. Uh, but Josh is the one that's streaming. Oh, yeah. They are indeed. There are no talking head boxes. Muy interesante. Oh, usually at the bottom, you can see who's talking. The little squares at the bottom pop up. But uh, it's not popping up on on the YouTube. Let me look at the YouTube. I have, I'm going to have to actually click on it. Yeah, it's not showing up on YouTube. But it's showing um, Manny's art. You are a white box, sir, because I wanted to know what you were doing. Uh, Abe Sabian said, talking to Hank. Yeah, I see Abe. Got it. I don't know what's going on. I, Josh Josh is the one that initiated the stream. I'm not blaming him or anything like that. I'm just saying he's the one that initiated. So I don't I, I can't fix it. I don't think that I can. Uh, let me. Okay, let me see if I can get that. Close that. See if that helps. I don't know if that helps. I don't think it does because it's not my hangout. Oh, boom. There you go. I found the button. <laughs> this should pop up, I think. I had a high participants. There was a high participants uh, checked. So I don't know how long it's going to take for it to pop up, but uh, Twitch is for kids, you silly rabbit. Look, we're just trying. <laughs> Look, we're just trying. I mean, um, YouTube is a good space, um, and it's got good tools. But if we can get some Twitch eyes as well, uh, why not? You know? Hey Josh, I found you on uh, Instagram. You got a lot of good stuff on Instagram. Oh, thanks, man. Do you ever live stream on Instagram? No. No, this is the first time of live streaming at all ever. Usually, live stream means me drawing in front of you while you're standing at me, staring at me at a comic con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm close enough to you guys that if uh, if if uh, if I could ever get down there, I could uh, catch you guys at a con. Um, uh, he's uh, Josh is in Kentucky. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I'm in Kentucky. So then, right on. What what good cons are there? Uh, we got Lexington Comic Con, which is a great con. My favorite. Um, and then I'll be doing one the end of this month for uh, Supercon. It's finally coming to Louisville. We had Wizard World, but Wizard World hasn't been doing well. So I, don't, I don't think they even came back this year. Yeah. They're just doing big markets, I think, if, if even that. I got a buddy that's all he does really is Wizard World. He does fairly well. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Lexington, Lexington by far is the biggest one in Kentucky uh, with what used to be Derby City, now Supercon. Uh, being a close second. I think, yeah. go ahead. No, so I think I think Tank wants to get invited. He's talking about, I'm working on a layout for a landscape promotional piece for Scalpel Zero. How do y'all think? You think Tank is trying to get invited? Well, you know this. He's my boy. I know he's your boy. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you, do you think Tank is trying to get invited? <laughs> I think he's the link. Boxes are back. Boom. I think I think I fixed it. I don't know what I did. Hold on. I'll I'll send him the I'll send him the thingamajig. I like Tank too, even though his name is not Tank on Twitter. I gotta figure out what his long behind name is. Starts with a W. I don't know. Well, just in case you forget, help out a brother. Rice Elise says, get Tank on here now. Okay, Risey, okay. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, man. <laughs> we all love Tank. You know? Tank is the guy that wears the gloves, right? Like he's doing surgery? Yeah. Sometimes he's a hazmat worker with that orange glove. Yeah, yeah. Tank rocks. Well, look, Tank, you have, you definitely have a, uh, a adoring fan in Risey Lee. And that's a good thing. 
You know who his, his number one fan is? Who's that? His folk rogue. Really? Yeah. So what happened was when me and Tank went up against each other on the fan edition of Dawn and Quarter, mm -hmm. my, my son voted for Tank and his daughter voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's the loyalty there? Ever, ever since then, uh, folk rogue loves Tank. Wow. Well, there you go. Tank Ferrick, you have been linked, sir. So if you if if, if that was a ploy to uh, gain gain admittance into the stream, it has worked by the grace of Manny. <laughs> I don't have that much power on this show. Nah, we like you though, man. We think you're a pretty good guy. So you know. Yeah, I try to be. You gotta be good. Can't be can't be going off on people, you know. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Speak. Some, sometimes it's cool to go making jokes, but gotta be nice. yeah, I try sometimes. Do I? <laughs> I'm usually pretty laid back. Yesterday I was in a rare mood. Tank Ferret has joined the video call. Hey, All right, hey, Tank, hey. show us your show us your freaking double spread thing that you're working on, man. Since you wanted to get on the show, now you got to show and prove. Pop, <laughs> pop that thing up on screen right now. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything. Um, I, like I what? Said, I, right You're now, I'm, booting I'm, you out. I, Bye. I said I was working on it. <laughs> uh, Bye, Tank. See you later. And Tank, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you talking all that smack? Like, yo, man, I'm working on this. Like, we thought you had some lines down. Like, like this no, is just no, this is just still a mental thing. I'm working on getting the lines ready so that way when uh, Manny goes live on his channel that I'm like, I'm ready. To go. Well, see, see what I mean, Josh? Should we boot the man? Like, he's just going to do it for Manny and Manny only. What? So. Now, now see, <clears throat> I'm over here. <clears throat> amazing. <clears throat> amazing art. I mean, Tank. That's why Tank. I'm here. Tank. This will be the last time yeah, I invite you on. So for uh, tones of uh, Ortiz's voice. I, this is the last time I'm going to invite you when you're talking about you doing this great art. I got this great concept I'm working on right now. But it's only in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to start somewhere. I know. I'm just giving him a hard time, man. <laughs> I'm just giving him a hard time. That's it. Don't No, no worries. Be happy. Besides, That's how could I? Good fun, man. How can I not invite him after Risey Lee said, "Tank rocks." Yes, you did. And then, of course, Risey Lee said, "Get Tank on here," and and I felt the the menacing vibes of the letters as he typed them. I got, I got, you know, I got scared, man. I got scared. I'm not gonna lie, I, I got scared, man. Yeah, it, they, they're scared, and then they're scared. <laughs> you know. Scared is just scared is just your normal scare, but you're scared. That means it's down to the soul. You know, it's like you're really terrified. Yeah, yeah you you you're scared. Say you're scared, man. You're scared. Go church. If you're going to church. <laughs> so so there's that. It's a southern thing, and even though I'm not really southern, but hey, I live here now, so it's whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's I'm whatever. Man, you southern Southern Hawaii. <laughs> I'm the most southern state, man. <laughs> hey, southern Hawaii. <laughs> South Pacific. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't know if that counts, Manny. But it is the most southern state. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's not. Yeah, technically speaking, I'll technically give you that. Speaking. Yes, technically speaking, it's the most southern state. So many. How long have you lived in Hawaii, man? All my life. All my life. All my life. I've been eating pineapple on pizza. I don't like pineapple on pizza, but I will eat it. Okay. I mean, it, I, I'll eat it. It's not like I'm a. Hey, I'm against it, but I, I'll eat it. Hey. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> that's Canadian. Do not blame America for that. That's <laughs> Canadian. Okay, so and delicious. Why do they call it Hawaiian pizza then? You know, anything that has pineapple on it, they call it Hawaiian. Hawaiian burgers, Hawaiian pizza, Hawaiian, you know, tacos, whatever, just because it's a 
Pineapple on it. Mm. Weird. <laughs> KG says, hey there, Tank. Hey there, Tank. Oh, that was my best tug impersonation. Hey there, KG. Hey there. for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it. I tried, but I just couldn't. I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> Spawn is upside down. I think you know you still got it on me. You know that, right? Do I still got it on you? Yeah, you need to show the people, man. No, I thought I had it on Josh. No, no, you're still showing my my beautiful front of my stunt girl. Let me look. Hold on, because I have it on Josh. On Twitch, it's on Josh. And on YouTube is still on, yeah, very interesante. Man, I can't be holding up this show. Boom. Let me see if I can do it. It's funny because over here it says Josh is presenting. All right, for Ross, can I stop presenting? No. Let me see what Good Thought Press is doing. I'm just doing some hair, stroking up her hair because her hair is too long. Up a little bit. All right, so let me look at Josh. Yeah, don't you worry about me, man. I'm, I'm here as a fan. Like, huh. I'm drooling over what other people are doing. So this is ridiculous, right? Because cause on Twitch, is all on Josh. Like, it's all Copic's Josh. On YouTube, for some reason, it, it's on the Skunk Girl. Skunk Girl, which is a beautiful shot. It is. It is a very, very beautiful shot. You know, uh, that's definitely something a Latino man can appreciate. Uh, and, but, and a Southern boy. Yeah, no. Um, geez, why is it not uh, on Josh here? Anybody else have the song, Thank God I'm a Country Boy, pop into their head? <laughs> <laughs> or am I just that white? Oh, I'm, I'm right there with you. Doom, doom. I think I think I don't want to say it, but the Saltine American in you has really, really come out. Let me see. And on YouTube, it's still. You know what? Let me refresh that because that can't be right. No, no, it's still Skunk Girl. I don't know. Uh-huh. Why is it doing that? Let me change it over to Mutt Man, see if it'll change it over to Mutt Man. No, it is for some reason. Okay, now there must be a serious delay because now on YouTube is on Josh. Huh. Well, I also took control and fixed it. Ah, there you go. My my apologies, but I don't know why. It just wouldn't switch over. So you're saying you have to patch? Hmm. He's, got He's got the power. But on Twitch, as soon as I click on Josh, boom, back on Josh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on between YouTube and Twitch. But that's very interesting. Let me is tell you okay something. If I, uh, is it okay if I plug Model 3's uh, Indiegogo real quick? Uh, you need to ask Josh. As far as I'm concerned, no, it's not okay. But here's he's, we're here to, here to see art. Nah, go ahead, man. Model Model Three does 3D models of Comicscape comic uh, characters, and he has an Indiegogo, and take it over. <laughs> All right. So, Model Three's Indiegogo is to build up an infrastructure so that Model Three can provide to Comicscape creators um, an affordable source to go for. Um, stu- like stuff like 3D printed stuff uh, you know, get your uh, blanks made for molds for production stuff uh, anything you need to do because um, uh, it's, it's very expensive to get an, a little figure made it, it's very expensive and what Model 3's uh, campaign is doing is to cut that cost down um, for everybody so if you are interested in producing quality uh, figures, figurines, busts, so on, so any type of any type of product, honestly, uh, for uh, for your intellectual property, then 
go check out Model 3 16's uh, Indiegogo. It's, I talked to Model 3 16 earlier today. They are very knowledgeable. They are very professional, and uh, it's, it's actually worth consideration. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> and there you have it. We're, we have done, uh, I have done more than my share of, of community service on this stream, even though it's Josh's stream. I have done my community sharing. That, that, that's it. No more people getting plugged tonight. Man, I'm glad I got mine in early. Well, my man is a friend of the show, though, you know. So, I'm not, uh, eh, it's whatever with the Model 3 thing for me. Eh, it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm always, uh, I'm always shilling for, uh, stuff that, uh, attracts my eye. I got you, man. Like I said, it's, eh, it's whatever. You know, I don't mad at it. Man. Uh oh, thanks. You're never going to be invited again. Nah, I'm never going to, I don't ever say that. That was it. That was it. You blew your All right, it's time to bust out with the hardest and dirtiest of the this tone time in Baghdad. No, I'm just kidding, folks. Just kidding. <laughs> what you need to do to make up for that BS is uh, show some doggone artwork instead of saving it for Manny's channel. You not see. Not only did you come in here, take advantage of my friend of my hospitality, but then you refuse to reciprocate said hospitality with at least some kind of artwork. I don't know. I feel I'm feeling some kind of way. Oh, no, no. Tank. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Hold tank. On. Give, me I'm, a Give me a minute. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling some kind of way, Tank. I, I don't know. I don't know, Tank. Mm. You're very good at that. Say again. You're very good at that. Guilting people into doing things. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised by a Latino woman. <laughs> yeah, that was a well delivered grievance right there. I like that. You like that, my man? Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is what I do, man. They say I have the gift of gab. I don't know why they say that, but I, I'm gonna take their word for it. I don't, I don't ever. I'm not claiming it or self-proclaiming it. It's just what I've been told. <laughs> Rice Lee is like part. Oh, Rice Lee likes the likes the part over the hair eye. It does give her that mysterious vibe. Reminds me of someone, but can't think of her. He's talking about that skunk girl. Uh, would it be like Viper? Viper used to have that. Viper and Valkyrie used to have their eyes covered all the time. Yeah, yeah. and then Bitbiter says, Manny sounds like the Doom 143. Why? I don't know. Who has to ask Bitbiter? Hmm. You know? All right, so I got some artwork here for you. Okay, let me look at it. from the past. There we go. See? This is uh, from uh, 94. No, this one's 95. School stuff here. Asked that exist a, a fax that I had sent to myself. <laughs> the originals are long gone, but yeah, I was experimenting and drawing like a, a Hulk type alien creature. That right. Email. Uh, let's see what else I got. I see Tank is, is doing the potato cam thing. Soon not to be a potato anymore. <laughs> yeah. Soon, soon enough. Got some old stuff. Let's see what I got here. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it, man. Oh, okay. It's a fax. That's why it looks blurry. I thought maybe your, your cam oh, yeah, is. No, these are faxes. They, yeah, the originals went up in flames when I was in Iraq. Oh, that's not good. Um, my house burnt down and I lost all my artwork, even from when I was like down to like when I was like five or six years old. Mm. Oh, that's terrible. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. By the way, Tank, I went ahead and put uh, your boy 316's link in the chat for the Indiegogo project. Doing the full service that's thing. Awesome. Yeah, see, see, I do Thank my part. I do my part, but but I also require that you do your part. You must pay back. Right? You, you must, you know. So here's, I, check this out, dude. Some old rip claw. <laughs> oh, right. Man, I used to love Rip Claw. Void from uh, Wildcats. 
excuse me, but we have a very special guest in the chat. Kat R has finally joined the stream. And she says, my parents never kept any artwork I did as a kid. Yeah, but that's okay. Mine didn't either. <laughs> it is a sad, sad truth. Kat, if you want to be linked up, let me know. I know you have, I think you have guests. So I think you're not, you're not jumping on streams. But if you want to jump, let me know. It's all right, you know. Like this is a no no pressure. Well, let me let me caveat what I'm about to say. This is normally a no pressure stream. No one is yeah. pressured to join, but but <laughs> if you are talking mega mega trash in the chat like Manny was one day, then you are forced to join so you can so you can be addressed properly. Okay, oh, no. and. <laughs> And if you are on the stream and you decide you want to shill for everybody but not contribute to the stream, then you will also be addressed properly, a.k.a. <laughs> Tank Ferret. So, no, fair enough, man. Fair enough, dude. Well, so those are the only times. Anybody else? I don't – nobody – this is a no-pressure stream. This is a laid-back chill. You see Josh is laying back chill. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back to the Copics of Josh. Boom. I got totally – First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I'm in the East Coast of the United States. He is in the Pacific South part of the United States. How can I, how can I bully anybody from this distance? You're a cyber bully. <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't think that can happen. <laughs> you know, I don't think that can happen. I just I just don't see that as a possibility. I was minding my own business just doing some artwork on the side, just listening to you guys and just watching you and Josh and all of a sudden you go, I see how it is, man. You go come on the stream, too good for it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, you get a good bait. I mean, if you're drawing anyway, right? Yeah, I just didn't want to come on. I mean, you guys are just having a good time, you know, you and Josh. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go. Josh is my boy, man. Josh, Josh and I, that's my boy. We, we always going to be tight, you know? That's not going to change. <sighs> But uh, you know, I mean, having you guys on is fun sometimes. I mean, but if you're gonna, but 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 if you're streamers, right? If you're constantly on on YouTube streaming and then you come over here and then you know, <clears throat> you try to flex muscle, or uh, you know, try to talk a little bit of smackish, you know, I, I will definitely, definitely, you know, allow you to air your grievance. You know, we don't do that. Me and Tank don't do that. You know. No, Tank, man. Tank came on and started selling for everybody. Like, yo, my name is Tank. I'm the Sham Wow guy. Let me tell you about Model 316. You have got to have Model 316. Bow! You know? <laughs> like, what the hell is this? All right, I'll you see. You know what? Later, later on someone else's channel, I'm going to be shilling for Josh Chris Art. <laughs> That's right. You know what? And I appreciate that. And Josh appreciates that, too. He will. No, man. I like to play this win-win game. Build a... Build a uh, build it. We have to rebuild an industry here, you know, and, and it's best that we rebuild it with a friendly, competitive, uh, and competitive, um, you know, kind of atmosphere where it's like did Tank just make up words versus each other? Yeah, he's trying, trying to bring up versus it. each other. Up words. I think Tank just made up some words. Tank. I did. Competitive. I just made that word up. I'm yeah. adding it to the dictionary. I'm putting, I'm putting that sucker in ink. Mm -hmm. Tank's lexicon. <laughs> right. I, I, I like that word because it definitely says like what what's happening. You know, like there is a really cool community uh, vibe where everybody's trying to create something and they're actually trying to sell something, but at the same time, uh, it's super friendly and fun and. Yeah, competitive, man. I, that's definitely a good descriptor. So now you got two. Do I get a third? Can I get? Can I get a third? Going once, 
going twice. The motion has been denied. So <laughs> you need at least three to pass the motion. So back to oh, Josh. Man. Sorry, man. Because Josh is over here putting some some serious inks. <clears throat> Not inks, I'm sorry. Some serious colors on a said spawn. Josh, you're still alive. I'm here. Okay. Can you not hear me? I can hear you now. I've actually been talking, but I, I didn't get to the end. You've been talking this whole time? Because I, yeah. I didn't hear you at all. Are you still talking? Because I... <laughs> no, no, I didn't have anything to say on this time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Look, this is my job, right? This is why... I... This is why I got hired, right? To to keep to keep the chat entertained as Josh dazzles him with his artistic abilities. That's that was that was my that was the part of my deal. That was it. You know? <clears throat> I cannot help what it is. I apologize. Hey, whatever happened with that Colossus that you're working on? Is that finished yet? <laughs> it's still on the way. It's still on the way. Um <laughs> Josh is a man of fear. Yeah, but you can't remember whenever you were on here. We had a really good conversation. Because I wasn't on. No. Not, <laughs> you know, we were, me and her were getting to know each other. You know, she was new. I'm new. We were just getting to know each other. You know? Uh, but no, yeah. uh, Colossus is still um, over here with the Black Cat. So. Who's the black cat? Is that a black cat? I'm sorry, Black Panther. Black Panther. Oh, darn. Uh, no, 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 Black Cat. Um, really? Yeah, black Panther and, and <laughs> so, Lee laughed at the cyber bully thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cat says it's just fun time. Sometimes it's just fun listening. Well, you know, you can listen, you can join. Whatever you want to do, Cat, we're fine with that. Bitbiter says there aren't any <laughs> definitions tagged with competitive yet. Hashtag competitive. And uh, then he puts the UrbanDictionary.com tags link. <laughs> so, yeah, so there you go. There you go. You need to get it. You tank. You need to get it done. I need to go to Urban Dictionary and go make an annotation for that word. What yes. Saying? That yeah. If you wanted to live. I would say what every every year they add words to the dictionary. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Urban Dictionary grows, but but <laughs> but there you have that. I lost my chat because I was looking at the uh, Twitch window. So <laughs> I apologize, people. We're trying something new. We we we're trying to we're trying to stream on two different platforms at the same time. This is pretty interesting. Well, uh, I'll have to do that tomorrow. Um, go enter that into the Urban Dictionary, and um, I, I suppose I'm at that point I'm obligated to come show back up over here and uh, give give uh, you and Josh uh, <coughs> an update as to the legitimacy of the word competitive. I don't, I don't know, Tank. I don't know. I don't know if you've earned the right to come back on live. I'm still determining that <laughs> as we speak. Uh, you can definitely type it in the chat at your leisure. Um, <laughs> it's Josh's stream. Josh, let so Josh says, "Let tank on." We let tank on, man. I don't, I don't, I, I have no power here. <clears throat> and Jimmy won't be here in, uh, for the next couple of days. So. Yeah. Speaking of which, Josh will be streaming solo. I'm gonna need you to be out over here at 9 p.m. EST or there. 915 ish and keep Josh company for me. You know he's a man of few words. I need y'all to stay. Come over here, show him support, get on the chat, get on the live, keep the channel going, keep the spirit of Jimmy alive. <laughs> I'll steal him over to my channel. Oh you oh you could just steal him. There you go, Manny. Nah. Don't I'm, don't I'm don't I'm always gonna send you guys a link no matter what. Yeah. Of course, of course. I'm just I'm just here for uh, comedic relief. I think at this at this juncture in life. No, you do do a good job. You know. Good job. So it's all good. It's all good, man. 
Just, just see, I see how y'all think about me. Almost heartbroken. If I had a heart, it'd be broken. <clears throat> no. You know what? And there you go. See, that's my army buddy right there. See? Army army brothers stick together, even if we never serve together. That's right. Tank. Uh, everybody in here who has served, I just want to say thank you for your service. Appreciate that very much. I'll second that. There you go. And I always say, I never know what to say to that, except I was just doing my job. But you did a job that I'll second that. You know, I... That's just doing my job. That's that's it. Motion passed. I thirded. KG says that it that has been thirded. Tank, your word is official now. Mm. Like that. <laughs> All right. I give the I, I give word. yeah I give the chat some time because sometimes there's a fifteen second delay. So uh, so I give it a chat. I give the chat a chance to catch up. So that's the only reason why I'm allowing it because there's a delay. <laughs> Um, Cat wants to know how long you served, Tank. Five years from 2000 to 2005. KG said he did almost 22 years in the Navy. Woo. That's outstanding. That's woo. KG. You are officially my hero. Yeah, that, that's why he is. Okay. Yeah. That's why the icon of Mayfrey was a little submarine. Yeah. He was, he was submariner. Congr oh. Yeah, K K KG did some business, man. He did business. Well, you know, that's a that's a lot of time to give up on your personal life. You it know, is. When you do at the whim of Congress and the general public. You know, you're you are a second class citizen when you're serving in the armed force. Everyone in the everyone outside of that, that uniform outranks you <laughs> oh man I don't want to talk about that I got my own theories on that <clears throat> but anyway I digress I digress we'll keep it positive yeah positive. we'll keep it positive we'll keep it positive but yeah I mean it well, is I what it is a lot of respect for people who can dedicate a large portion of their life in that direction Definitely. 22 years is a long time. That is definitely a long, 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 long time. <sighs> yep. And it, and it is what it is. Some people can do it and some people just can't, you know. And so <clears throat> it's like anything else in life. It's what you make of it, but it's also like anything in life. It's not for everybody. You know, it, it really is not for everybody. And it's not to uh, disrespect or disparage or look down on anybody that didn't join or couldn't join. I guess it really isn't for everybody. And the statistics say that, like, less than 10% of the United States population is actually eligible to join or can actually join the armed forces. So it's, a, it's, it's almost, if you think about it, it's like making a football team, you know, like, but without the pay, of course. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> right. No, you know. And there's a point right there, man. There's so many people that, that I meet as a veteran that are like, yeah, I tried to serve, but, you know, I wasn't physically uh, able to. And I'm like, well, thank you very much. You know, the, the good college try. Right. Because it right. is not for everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it is. isn't. It is. And some people join uh, for college or because they have no um, direction in life and they really find out quick that this is not for them. And some of them, some of them are like, yo, I can do this for 20 years, man. This is this is the life. It's a matter of perspective. Cat R, is it a bit of a culture shock when you first go in? I don't know much about the military. I don't know about the Navy. The Army was, eh, it was pretty easy transition, I think. I think really didn't feel like it was that hard well, it was just a more disciplined um structured life really yeah it wasn't i mean it's whatever it wasn't but, um, with the school i went through i went through a fort knox armor school you he was over there with uh, with josh and them yeah we started off with 206 people and mm. we had 49 graduates 
No, it gets tough. Um, um, I guess. So when I went to basic training, I caught pneumonia at the end, which means you're severely debilitated. You can barely do anything. It was the last week. We had to do the FTX and all that stuff to graduate. <clears throat> and uh, yes, yes, uh, bit biter. And uh, so the the drill sergeant. I had I have a lot of these stories where my senior my senior NCO would tell me it's either this or you have to wait. And I was like, man, I don't care if I die on the field. I'm graduating with what I'm graduating this week. I don't give a dog on. What is going on? So I managed to graduate on time. And, uh, that was the right answer, man. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I wasn't going to do that all over again. Are you kidding me? No, oh, no. Oh. And then uh, when I went for um, NCO school, because back in the day it was PLDC, not whatever it's called now, WLC or <clears throat> whatever it's called. So when I went... PLDC, what I was in. So, yeah, and, and then the rules were you make the points, and if you don't graduate PLDC, you got to go back to the board and start all over again. But I have. I need some critique over here. All right, hold on, man. Hold on, buddy. Is it getting better? Uh, let me find my mouse, and let me click on you. Uh, yeah. This is original. This is the tweets. Okay. Do it one more time. Original tweaks. The tweaks look good. What else uh, I got to do again? Original tweaks. I like hey, uh, on the original. What's that halo kind of? Oh, that was the background. I didn't. It was a background from the other one. <laughs> so oh, okay. it really wasn't the wrong background. Oh, okay. So. I thought maybe it was like the, the smell, you know, like no, the sensory power well, or the, something. The whole thing is just a cloud of green vector. Okay. Just so she can pop off of the background. I think the improvements look good, man. Mm -hmm. what else, I agree. What else do you think I need to do to see what's wrong? Uh, like you might, uh, the only thing I see that I might suggest would be like on that black streak of hair, just maybe put a little bit of like some. Shimmer. Highlight on it or shimmer or something like that, just okay. so you can. I can do that. Yeah, put like a little shimmer on it. <clears throat> a little, just a just a tiny tiny detail. Yeah. So tank. Um. Well, they well they're figuring this out. So when I went when I was about to go to PLDC, I fractured my leg. And uh, and they were like, well, your point your 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 points pop, so you, you know you got to go to PLDC and pin your five, or you can go. Back to being an E4 till we'd send you to the board again. <laughs> and uh, so he was like, are you still on profile? I said, what profile? <laughs> I did PLDC with a, I did PLDC with a broken leg, man. And they didn't, and they didn't even know. That was so painful. That was the pain, the most painful uh, four weeks <laughs> I ever did in my life. Do you know what's really scary? Is that's, that kind of story is not as rare as you would hope it is. Nope. Kadar has a suggestion, Manny. If you put <clears throat> highlight on the black streak, you should also put it on the tail as well. Okay. Yeah, maybe some little highlight. On see, the that's looking good. The tail. Yeah. I, I already see where he's putting the highlights out in the, in the black streak. So that's looking good, Manny. Uh, ink, please. No, no, no. You're doing that. that. That was a good suggestion by that was Muttman that suggested it, right? Thank you, Muttman. Is that Muttman or Josh said that? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys need any more advice on anything in life, you just ask me. I got you covered. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Muttman. Dear Muttman, today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you may not like the answer, but I will give you the answer. Right. I see I see that y'all caught the reference. That's good. <laughs> hey, uh, Tank. Tank. Yes, sir. Are we still sticking to our plan from last night? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, we can totally do that, dude. Time-wise? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, all depends. Let's ask, ask uh, Josh. 
since we are his gracious guests, mm -hmm. uh, what his plans are. Oh? Uh, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I <laughs> dig uh, What are your plans for your stream, sir? How much longer are you planning to go on? Um, well, normally I do one piece a night. This guy's uh, taking a little bit. Um, but if you guys are wanting to migrate over to somewhere else, um, then by all means, do, do what you got to do. All right, well, we didn't want to be rude and step no, on your toes or nothing. Okay. And, you know, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm, the reds took a little bit longer. I got a little, you know, started a little late, too. I was spending time with the wife, so. Um, yeah. Hey, that, that's, that comes first. Exactly, you know. <laughs> we don't see what Josh is doing. Oh, sorry, Abe. No, we got him back. I got your back, bud. <laughs> I was on, um. Uh, I was uh, letting Manny fix his uh, skunk girl. He was on some tail. That's what he's doing. You, you do you doggone right. You doggone right. <laughs> Manny's fixing some tail over here. Some little highlights in the tail. So what, what are your all's plans? Where are you all? Uh, well, we, we, me and Tank, we want to start going on at 6 o'clock my time. That way we can have a little bit of some of that, you know, East Coast time. I mean, we go on at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock my time. Everybody's sleeping in here. So we're trying to think that maybe we should plan on jumping on a little bit earlier. Okay. Well, <clears throat> well if y'all are going to migrate, that's, that's also going to be my my cue. Because, you know, I do have to get up early to travel tomorrow. <laughs> hey, look, man. <laughs> Whatever. That's all right. Look, man. Look, man. Feel the love. Feel the love. I put you on the great and capable, caring, loving hands of the elder statesman called Manny. You are, you are in, in the most capable, loving hands in the world right now. Manny is like everybody's grandfather. Chester Busby in the house. Migrating <laughs> already. Well, they they are. Josh might might stay here for a little bit, but. Send the link and stuff. I'll come over with you. Oh, that great. would be awesome. Hey, Mutt Man, are you uh, linked up with us on Twitter? You guys uh, are like a bunch of gypsies. Yeah. Well, you know we'll, well send it to uh, Josh, and Josh can send it to you, Mutt Man. You send it to me, and I'll send it to Mutt Man. I don't think Josh and Mutt Man are, are, are linked up. Negative. We're all going to link up together. I, I seem to be like the, the guy that, that greases all the hands, the palms. You know, I'm like, hey, Mutt Man, how you doing? And I'm I'm linking everybody up. I feel like I'm freaking uh, uh, the the artist uh, freaking uh, matchmaker. Man. Matchmaker, exactly. <laughs> you uh, you like to look at artwork? Yeah, You're a I do. Meta for artists, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I get I get a lot of people hooked up. Look, uh, it started with messing. Started. When it all started when I started making fun of John Dillard and he invited me on the stream one time and then that was it. <laughs> a star was born. A star was born. Now I've been I've been doing this for a while. I've been interviewing people like uh Muttman and Critias and Donald Delay. I've been trying to build my brand over here little by little. <laughs> just a talkative fella. You know, just nah, you're a good voice for uh for the community, dude. Well, I don't know about have a good voice. No, that's Chester. Chester is a good voice Funny. for the community. Were you signal in the army? I was signal in the army. I, can I tell you my can, can I tell you my story behind that? Sure. All right. So I was a young, impressionable Rican, and I wanted to be a radio personality. So I, when I went to the recruiting station, I asked them to be put. You know, that I said, "Can I be a, a radio? You know, can I be on the radio? I want to be on the radio, like broadcasting." Right, I wasn't very clear or specific in what I meant by that. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so they put me in the Signal Corps, <laughs> carrying radios. I was definitely broadcasting, but the radio was on me. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't on the radio. <laughs> so, so when you, if anybody ever decides, be clear, concise, and specific in what you are requesting. <laughs> Over here, <laughs> Tank knows what I'm talking about because he went through it. 
Oh, well, see, I, 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 I came in on the other side of things with ridiculous demands and whatnot until like, I, I found what I wanted and I, I just grabbed it. Uh, I actually play, I went through so many recruiters because their budget ran out on me, but I had such good test scores that they were willing to do anything. So for like four months, dude, it was nothing but t-shirts and gourmet hamburgers, dude. <laughs> yeah i'll come and play army <laughs> man look Wait, recruit the recruiters go ahead hank what you gonna draw tonight tonight i am actually going to draw a uh landscape scalpel zero um pinup tonight he's gonna draw that bull crap he has in his brain that he wouldn't share with us that's what he's drawing tonight well, right now i'm looking at a lot of landscape pinups and unfortunately i'm not very inspired so far because i want it to be less obviously sexy mm -hmm. and more kind of like sexy but you don't want to touch it for fear of dying mm -hmm. huh? that it would grab you and and just twist you into little pieces right <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm doing some scalp of zero so manny yes sir. i gotta make i gotta make my my title so i'm gonna stop my title no. You know, oh, Manny, are we yes. mic to your channel, Manny? I'm I'm making it right now. Okay. Uh, before you go live, um, let me have all the the uh, gatekeepers in there uh, beforehand. I got something I got to talk to you guys about. Oh, good. Awesome. There you go. I told you, Chester right. is the voice of the yeah. comics community. That is awesome. It is awesome, actually. It's very good news. Yeah, see, Chester's your man. Chester is your voice. I'm telling y'all right now, don't sleep on Chester. I like Chester. Chester's all right in my book. Thank you, sir. You know, any bear that plays the saxophone is okay. For Josh, Chris, right now, so that's what I'm talking know. about. Live drawing with Josh, Chris. There you go. See, see, I'll, Ed, and and don't forget to ask your folks to uh, subscribe. You know, get get Josh's sub subs up. Or we're gonna have to try to move over to Twitch, you know. We we're playing we're playing around we're playing around trying to figure things out. So, you know, if that doesn't work, Facebook Live. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Smoke signals. <laughs> Smoke signals. Carrier pigeons. Chester Busby's in Japan. We we work in everything, every angle. Hey, uh, you guys, if you don't mind, I like to. Uh, ask for people to sub my channel too. I'm trying to build my audience as well. Oh yeah, that's right. I've got a little channel, a little channel that could. I've, I've got to about almost 70 uh, subscribers now, so I'm I'm hustling. Are you coming over, Mutt Man? Uh, I'm actually going to have to hit the hit the hay okay. here pretty soon, so uh, probably not. But I'll I'll probably watch you guys for a little bit. Where are you going? I just over to my my channel for I don't know three hours or so. Just hang out. I can't deal with that. Hey, that, that tree always goes by fast. You'd be surprised. Oh, I'm sure it does, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got a phone over there. Okay, Ape, Ape Sapien wants link. So that was Mutt Man's link. Hold on. That was Mutt Man. Let me find Manny's link. <laughs> I saw it when I seen you in the chat. See, look, Ryze Lee is on top of it, man. I love that guy. I love that guy. Let's see. Good dog press. Hey, Bitbiter just subbed me. Appreciate that, Bitbiter. Bitbiter's a good friend of the show. So, yeah. He was my mod when we interviewed you. Cool, man. And then, good dog press. Control V. Boom. Tank is on his own. Forget Tank. He didn't even want to draw over here. Talk about it. He showed us some grainy faxes and whatnot. <laughs> KG, just up to you, Mutt Man. You are growing, sir. Right. Like that. You are growing. You are moving right along. Hey, and uh, shout out to uh, uh, to Chester um, and all the folks over there at the uh, Fan Speak. I'm really enjoying that that show, and uh, I, I went out and changed my um, <clears throat> my Indiegogo page to reflect some of those things that you guys were talking about. So, you know, hopefully, people will. We'll notice and we'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, help us out a little bit over there. I think that they will. Yeah, we um, we try to be as helpful as we can. That's the whole point of fan speak. Mm. Well, it's good advice well taken, so I'm definitely watching you guys and listening to what you have to say. Cool. Thank you. Boom. 
Abe Sapien subbed as well. And uh, my, 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 Chester. Chester. Yeah. Uh, who do you want in that uh, green room? So I know who to invite first. I want beekeepers in the green room. Okay. So that'd be you, John, if he can make it. Uh, Cross Comics, if he can make it. Tank, I assume. I got it. I got it. Yeah. And just, I mean, after we're done, I'll send out the link to all you other guys, okay? That works. Sure. Sounds great. I'll see you guys there. Thank you for having me on, Josh. Later, Manny, man. Have a good night. Thank, thanks, E. Awesome, as always. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate see it. See you guys later. Nice meeting you, man. Yeah, nice meeting you, Mutt, man. Hopefully you get on the with us soon absolutely awesome aloha everybody aloha bye man hello josh hey goodbye josh <laughs> <laughs> i'll see you a little bit all right cool i'll see you guys on the other side thanks man later chester bye hey my man you're always watch Thank you guys so very much for having me on. You guys have such a wonderful uh, house over here. I have to wipe my feet before and when I leave just to make sure that I uh, that, that I pay you respect, man. So uh, once again, thank you guys. I'm humbled. Yeah, it's no problem. You I all have yourself a good one. You on on Instagram with some of your your postings and your your comic and stuff, and really intrigued by it. Oh, thank you much, man. Well, uh, I hope to see you soon over on... Uh, Speaking on of which, Tank, mm -hmm. Tank, I'm trying to buy that thing from you. You don't want to sell it to me. I don't know if you don't like my money. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, what happened? I might have missed a message. I've been really busy the last couple of days, so I'm a little late on checking stuff. We talked about this so, live, so do I have to send you a message? Uh, yeah, send me a message, man. Um Cause I'm beginning to think you don't want my money. Right now, I'm a little, I'm a little bit behind schedule. I'm, I'm thinking you don't, I'm thinking you don't like making money, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. I love making money. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I've just never been this popular before, so I'm really trying to keep things up and tune up my, uh, my admin. I've been working a lot on getting my, uh, behind the scenes flow much, much cleaner. All right, buddy. You have a good one. All right. You too. Thank you, guys. Hey. Yep. Hey, do you guys know uh, Carl Oro, the uh, Deathsworn comic? Uh-uh. Uh, it is an awesome uh, indie comic. It's called Deathsworn, and it's kind of like real rock and roll, uh, space, barbaric uh, kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to have him on my um, channel tomorrow. Cool. Uh, about 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, if, if anybody wants to check that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to catch the replay. I'll be out of town um, for the holidays, but I definitely will check it out. You know, I'll try to check out your stuff whenever I get a chance. I know, and I do appreciate it. So, um, Mutt Man, anytime that we're on, you're always welcome to join us. Yep. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that, and uh, thank, thanks for letting me come on tonight. And um, you guys have wonderful Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Okay. Hey, and could you high five? Uh, uh, Dan for me, Macho Dan for me. Tell him, tell, uh, tell him it's a high five from Jimmy. Oh, yeah, man. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that virtual <laughs> high five right in his face. We're gonna have to get back together with him in here, too, because that was fun. That was I, was, fun. I was hoping he could jump on tonight, but I guess he, he's, he's got a lot of things going on with his fan base. He's very popular. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, you guys have a good one, okay? All right, later. Well, Josh, it's just back to you and I. You and I. Man, it looks beautiful, man. What, what do you want me to say? It looks bad? I can't say that because it don't. I love it. I love it, man. Right. 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 And what we'll do is we'll do this part black real quick. That way you can see it before you get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Mutt, man. We appreciate you.
Later, uh, KG. You have a good evening. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody that's dipping. Don't forget to go check out Manny's channel. But you can stay here as long as you as long as you like before he leaves. <laughs> nah. He does look awesome, doesn't he, Riser Lee? You should see the one he gave me. I got one in my house. It's beautiful. Yeah. I need to start drawing again, dude. I've only been doing little sketches at work. I need to get back. Yeah. Got to get back on it. I need to start drawing more. I was I've been sketching at work, but I need to get like seriously drawing again. I haven't been drawing at all besides here. I know, but I haven't even really been doing that. Like I, I drew that pop I drew that pop figure thing. Huh? You haven't seen me draw before? You don't want to. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm just learning. <laughs> you can get... There are some videos of me drawing. Uh, I did a Poison Ivy one. You can check it out. I think that's a time-lapse one on my channel somewhere. And I drew the pop figure that, that you see. That's my um, avatar now. But Manny colored it for me because I'm colorblind. And, you know, hey. So I just sent it to him and he digitally colored it for me. I'm not I'm not Josh level. I'm somewhere down. Down. But I'm working. I'm working. I'm definitely not a cat level either. That's for sure. I'm more of a hobbyist rookie kind of guy. But apparently I talk a lot. I'm pretty useful on the chats and I'm great entertainment on the video so they keep me around you know what can I say at least that's what I'm told I don't know cat what do you think <laughs> Just a delay delay so um on the twitch side we've had one viewer I don't know if it's me that's that's the constant viewer. Um, and we've had thirteen people actually tuned popped in and out of the video. Cool. So so I don't know. Maybe there's something to this to this side of streaming. This is an experiment. I just exp I was just experimenting because we were talking about it. If I hop over to Twitch and actually do live art there, I've got a whole bunch of people. Cat says that I'm very entertaining, but she especially loves to watch me play games. She, I make her laugh. I don't know if that's because uh, I play horribly or because I, t <laughs> I make my off the wall comments while playing or a combination of both. Yeah, a lot of people have asked me to start streaming gaming for some reason. And I really, I am horrible at gaming. But you know what? We'll do it. We're still going to do it. I think, I think uh, playing some video games is good for blowing stress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she loves my commentary. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But Josh and I, but, but we got to find something. I don't know. That stupid ship game. That thing gave me so, that, oh, my gosh. Leave it in the past. Oh my gosh! Even though I'm better at driving the big one. Even, even yeah, I know you're better at driving the big one, but then what would have to happen is I would have to turn off my screen till we hit land. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was making me so dizzy. I was like, oh my gosh! I, you know, I've heard of people, right? Like I have a coworker who can't play any video games because he he gets sick. And uh, Ape says SF5. Um, okay. I don't know what that means. I find you very, I don't often watch you play Pikachu, but when I seen it was you, I was like, hell yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so Rice Lee says he enjoys me playing games just because it's, it's, it's my craziness. You should see me when I play other games. It gets pretty ridiculous. Oh, Street Fighter Five. 
Huh. It's a side scroller, right? PlayStation only. Hmm? That's like PlayStation only. Yeah, I got an Xbox. And uh because Xbox does play anywhere, I just use the Xbox Play Anywhere games on the PC. That's how I'm able to stream. But I was seeing what you was talking about, Josh, how Xbox goes straight to Twitch. So yeah. I was trying to play with that. Halo, man, I wouldn't even want to talk about Halo, Abe. <laughs> so, Abe, let me tell you something. So even with the colorblind settings on, we was playing, uh, like, what is it, red versus blue, whatever that is. And I kept shooting my teammates. <laughs> Luckily, my teammates know I'm colorblind and they don't get so upset at me. But if it would have been anybody else, they would have been really mad. They would have been hugely mad at me um, because I just kept blasting them with shotguns. Because all I see is someone coming around the corner and I just shoot. Like I don't I shoot, ask questions later. You know. Yeah, and so, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Halo is fun though. But hey, if you got if you got Halo and uh, you wanna you wanna go uh, four man team up against the the NPCs, yeah, we can do that. I don't mind. I got all the Halos on the Xbox. See, Halo Five to me was god awful. It was short. It was a really short campaign. I hated it. I couldn't even get the controls to work for me half the time. Like that one part where. Parts actually have a flying vehicle because they were like the really cool new flying vehicles. Right. I only got past it because my little brother could survive. Like they were all pegging me at the same time, and I would instantly die as soon as I revved. I couldn't <laughs> get past any of it. I said, Jordan, just get me out of here. Right. And so he had to complete the entire mission because every time I spawned, I died immediately. That's so, crazy. Bitbiter says, too bad we didn't stream back in the day playing Destiny. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm good. Oh, that was crazy. Those were crazy days. Abe says, he would buy another Xbox just to game, but he has to get permission. He's in man training. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, Halo kind of devolved. It's like any great thing, you know. Eventually, someone gets their hands on it and kills it. Well, I like the story. Of war is good. You know, I have it, and I haven't really played it. I got like a hundred. I know this is gonna sound bad, people. Don't judge me. I got a hundred and freaking fifty games on my Xbox. So yeah, <laughs> I got a lot. Games on your Xbox. Cause I do. I just do. Sucks that bad. I don't play that much. I only play the games that we were playing together, like Destiny, Monster Hunter World, Gears of War 4. Let's play any word title. Yep. I don't have that one though. But I, Gears of War, uh, Gears of War 4. And look, I don't want to get that. Where is that? I got that. Like, um. You gotta think about it. That doesn't even bother me. Like, it bothers me. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. I guess the thing is, I don't know if I want to be on another subscription-based something. You know, I already got Netflix. I got this. I got that. Hmm. I just meant for you to try out that game, not not to buy it. You know, it's fourteen bucks to try it instead of sixty bucks to get stuck with it if you don't like it. It's all right. It doesn't bother me. It could have been worse. Those those things don't bother me, man. I don't I don't get upset about that. You know, I just hate I just hate subscription anything's. See, cat cat gets it. See, she says, look, she has a whole bunch of games on Steam that she hasn't finished because them Steam sales though, those Steam sales though. You see, she understands. Half of the, and half of the games I have. Uh, are the ones that like Xbox gives you for free. Oh, download it for free. Download that game. Boom. Download. Oh, download this one for free. So, you know, it is what it is. Well, anyway, it is 1130. It is way past an old man's bedtime. So where are you headed to? 
Texas. 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 Well, is that where your family's at? Negative Ghost Rider. Is that where her family's at? That is affirmative. Wow. <laughs> yes, it is that time. Dun dun dun. They haven't met me yet. I was about to say, I didn't want to say it. I was going to wait until after the stream and ask you. <laughs> they, haven't, they haven't met me yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. But it will not be televised. Oh, I think it should be. No, I can't do that, man. Maybe go go to get your my little uh, GoPro camera put on your head. Oh. I'm good. Man, that growth pros are so expensive, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Gosh, I wish I could do my RK just to see how much it's like to exit. Hey, you know. You can do it. I'm always up for a little bit of a challenge. It, it's, with digital age, it's so easy now. You can do them. And you scan them, take a photo, send it to them. Bitbiter with the self-promote on his steamcommunity.com Bitbiter. Link below. There you go. I don't know if I could do Steam, though. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. I gotta make the trip. I gotta do the right thing and get everything situated. <clears throat> Abe Sapien says, that sounds like an awesome idea, Cat. I think I'm assuming he's talking about what Cat was saying about or what we were saying about having Cat send <laughs> send it via digits. What do you mean if you draw something good? You've drawn a lot of good stuff. That Wonder Woman was amazing. I mean you already colored it, you know, but it was it was amazing. I loved it. But that was just me. I could be wrong. It could have been terrible. No, it was good. I don't care what nobody says. I liked it. As a matter of fact, I might commission Cat to draw me something. Cat, you do commissions? Waiting on the delay. That's all good. I well, I, I, do, I have to. More than anything, it's just, uh, she said thank you for saying that her art is good. It is, though. I mean, honestly. I've seen worse. Like, you should look at my sketchbook. Steve talking about. Oh. What is that? Can I retract this? There you go. Oh man, that's greatly appreciated, Cat. Man, that's awesome. I will definitely get back with you on that. I think about it. I always ask for something specific from anybody. <laughs> if you draw something good, you'll send it to me. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Ricey. I, I definitely will. Uh, well, I trust. I trust God to take me there safely and back. So I'm pretty sure that I'll have a safe trip, and I'll be back on uh, on Monday. Um, and we'll be back to, you know, our shenanigans, Josh and I, shenaniganing. Is that a word? Shenaniganing? Uh, right. make it a word. It's a word now. It's officially a word. Make it so, number two. <laughs> yeah. 
See, I like that. I like what you're doing there with that little, with those little grays. Make gives it some depth. Right. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that that's what you're supposed to do with it. It's going to cause an optical illusion with it, not just hashtag everything all over it. Mm. Um, it took me a long time to understand it, too. So I'm guilty of guilty party in that, too. And right. Like, Look, all the artists do it. Ah. <laughs> like, oh, this actually is supposed to do something. Whoop. Indeed. Uh, do that. We'll add this later. Do all the other details. But that's just idea of what one because there's black here all this part you see x's that's just black and there's gonna be tons of black down here and they probably even put black in here i didn't even think about that until now mm. so a lot more black to add to this character um that would really make the red stand out and abe says good night he's got to run so good night abe all yeah. right Abe, I'll, I'll be back on, you know, even though Jimmy's not going to be here, silent artists will still be here. Again. Yeah, and, you know, hopefully Manny and them will keep him company or a cat or somebody, you know. Josh, Josh is very silent, and I'm very vocal. Well, you know, whenever there's topics I can actually chime in about, then I'll chime in. That's true. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Well, this one time, you know, I saw a bear poop in the woods. You know, it's not really something we need to talk about here. Thanks, Josh. Okay. <laughs> I forgot you live in Kentucky. Yeah. All right. And with that, we will call it 9 12. I'll be back. Well, tomorrow's Wednesday, so yeah. I'll, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Thursday, I don't know. Friday. Thursday, it's Thanksgiving. You better spend time with your family. Well, yeah, I don't know what goes on Thursday. I watch the, I got, I got the kids tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and then the wife will be off finally on Saturday. So, um, so then Sunday I have to work. So, yep. Uh, but yeah, I should be on the next couple nights. Night, I'm, I might skip Thursday just to skip it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, buddy. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by. Um, you know, like, share, subscribe if you have the time. If you want to see more stuff, we're gonna keep going. Um, we got a few more things to ink, a few more things to color, and this will be my. I have this week, and I have part of next week, and then um, I will be gone probably next Thursday until Monday. Because that's whenever my con is at, and uh, so I won't be doing any live stream there. Um, uh, I might take some pictures and stuff. You all follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm really trying to get better with Twitter. I'm really trying. Um, but there for the longest time, uh, no one talked to me on Twitter, and I couldn't get anyone to follow, so I, I just stopped. Um, but Instagram, I'm, I'm definitely going to try and do more on Instagram. Um, I got a couple good buddies that are going to be there, so it's going to be a lot of good time. So definitely, if you're following me on Instagram, I will do my best to keep keep it up, keep some pictures going and stuff. Um, but yeah, so uh, without further ado, I give you all a good night. Thanks for stopping by, and I will talk to you all later. Later, folks.